Welcome back to the podcast and you're listening to the traveling pants of a single mom and of course I have my two co-hosts my fam bam Jason and Tasha say hey y'all hey yes yes. so what's goody I'm here man tired we here we in here you look tired tired you look tired what about you you I'm good man so what y'all what you do today Tosh almost dragged this lady at Walmart Oh my God! What, let's tell us about that. Violence. I was a little tired. She crazy, y'all. I was a little tired. I need sleep, and mm. I needed some food. Just mm. put it that way. Long story short, but I didn't drag the lady. She crazy, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. So what, what? What do you do when you when you're tired? I drink tea. Mm. That works. Chamomile. Yeah. Chamomile what, 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 what kind of tea? Chamomile tea. Mint. So, family, need. let's just get to it. Jason has insomnia. I hear, I see a lot of people post on Facebook that they have insomnia or they can't sleep. So, do you guys have any tips, anything y'all could give them? Because my man over here look <laughs> like he's fitting the path out, but he hurting. can't. Yeah. He hurting. Like, a lot of times when people say they have insomnia, they just, they're like, yo, I can't sleep. But I've been clinically diagnosed with that disorder. Mm. And I've been dealing with that since I was a kid. So you don't sleep at all? Like let us tell me a little bit about yeah. how this go. Like you don't sleep? Um <clears throat> no my wife tells me like sometimes she might catch me sleeping and she when she does catch me sleeping, she like uh, tries to observe me. Mm-hmm. Um if I fall asleep, it might be for like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Wow. Um, one time, one, once out the year, usually once one time a year, I might sleep throughout the night. What's that, Valentine's Day? Right. Work. For now, real. But I mean, um, I don't know, for the past few years, like, just one time for the year, I'll, 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 I'll sleep straight through. And that's without taking any sleep medication or or melatonin like I have tonight here. Um, I don't know. It just happens once or once a year. It's that good, good. Right. You said you took that melatonin last night? Yeah. Guys, so he came in with these gummy melatonin. melatonin that's what you call it. Yeah. I never heard of it. Yeah. Anything gummy to me, I can't take it serious. Gummy vitamins, all that. I just cannot take it serious. <laughs> so he came in with this joint, and I'm like, all right. He be wrapping up the night, and he about to take one. So I said, let me take one, because I love gummy candies, gummy anything. So after I take it, I'm like, yo, this is a joke. And he's like, in an hour, it's going to kick in. After they left, I shower, ate dinner. I called one of my friends, and we talking on the phone. And we talking, and all of a sudden, I was gone. He was out. Like, I don't even remember hanging up, nothing. And I went to sleep, but then I jumped up out to sleep, and I called the person back like, yo, what happened? Did we hang up? Like, did we end the conversation? What happened? Like, I don't know. He was like, yeah, we said goodnight and everything. And I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. And I went back to sleep and still just passed yeah, out. Like, I just, I didn't even know what happened. I was like, yeah, I got to tell Jason because this joint really worked because I was gone. Yeah, but see, when I went home, I took another one. I took two. And then and you still ain't sleep? I ain't sleep. Wow. Well, that thing had me gone, even out my mind. Like, I was like, what happened? Like, did I, did we hang up? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Tosh, you be having problems sleeping? I do. I think that has a lot to do for me and anyway, anxiety. I've had a little bit of anxiety in the past. So insomnia is um goes hand in hand with anxiety. Mm-hmm. And um it could be anything. Something that triggers it. And so you kinda the mind is restless, the body is mm-hmm. restless, and so you can't really get proper sleep. So I know for me when I used to have when I used to have my anxiety attacks, um, I'll be up for like hours like just pointless hours can't sleep um i had doctors prescribe me um I believe it was ambien mm-hmm. I did that let before. me yeah that sucker will take you down like <laughs> seriously like i remember my mom told me oh, if you take that make sure you in the bed 
and I took like a half a pill because I always take like a half a pill to try anything out first, you know, see my reaction to it. I promise you, I never made it to my bed that night. I was right there on the living room floor. That's mm. some that's some serious drug. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, for me, I I, I try to deal with um with my insomnia in a more natural way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I do like you know like the teas. Um, if you drink milk, sometimes milk helps. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. do things that make you go to sleep. Like for me, reading makes me go to sleep. You know, so. It sounds like Jason's is on a different level, but when you took this, see, she said that um, the Ambien yeah. knocked yeah. her out. What what that do for you? You you took that? The Ambien, I took that one time before, and um, I would never do it again. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I had a bad experience. Like, I'm, I'm a type of person where I'm kind of like a bushman a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I prefer to take natural remedies, mm-hmm. natural stuff instead of taking these pills like that's why I don't like going to the doctor um cause they just want to prescribe pills and and and, and all that and I'm not into that but I, I did take as I get old as I've gotten older um the not sleeping is is killing me it's bothering me now so I'm I'm taking I'm, I'm willing to try whatever so I took the pills the Ambien and I joined I bugged out that night really yeah and I have no recollection of what I did, but my wife told me that, you know, you was acting crazy. And I already don't like taking medicine. And my thing is, I could have, I feel like if I have no recollection of what I did, I could have hurt her. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And and that's not, I I feel like I always have to be in control of myself. Right, right. So, um, so yeah. So after that, I never, I never went back to the doctor. I never took any more medications for for not, for um for my insomnia. Um but I, I have to do something about it because like I'm it's, it's really affecting me now. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. So guys out there I'm being transparent right now. <laughs> um if anyone out there has a remedy for sleep, yo hit us up. Let me let me know because I, I need that right now. Yeah, because I'm crazy. trying to tell you he looked like he is on his last limb, like literally. So for real, all jokes aside, if y'all have any remedies, anything y'all know, again, y'all can email, go to the um, the um, Traveling Pants Instagram or reach out. However, you know, you normally reach out. Just let us know and maybe he could try some other di- things. Cause You know, I personally, I don't have them problems. You see, when we finish recording, that's sleep gonna be so good like I don't play that sleep me in my head that pillow we be getting it in mm, I be jealous of, jealous of people like that man. listen some people that just late they just, just basically put their up. head on the pillow and, and they just gone. be out they be going mine ain't that seconds. serious I can't do that but I can definitely get down on some sleep I'm telling you, like except for that time when the ghost oh yeah the <laughs> ghost attacked you uh, in the mountains why you gotta bring that up Ty so we went on a trip a cabin trip, all because of a man family. We went on a little cabin trip, son. I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't know. It was it was something in that cabin, and I was sharing was a room with Tasha. Though. It was air. When you walked into the cabin, it was mad airy, and the furniture and the things that they had in there was kind of like I don't know. So this one, me and Tasha wasn't. We was getting to know each other. We weren't, you know, cool like that. But we shared a room at, at the cabin. And so I'm telling you guys, I was deep sleep. I just popped up out my sleep. Like, yo, looking around. I'm trying to call Tosh. She knocked out like, yo, Tosh. She's like, yes. I said, something ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> she said, huh? I said, something ain't right. And I ain't hear nothing else. I was like, yo, Tosh, Tosh. Sleep mode. She was back to sleep. That was the only time I had problems sleeping because, baby, when I say I ain't sleep a wink for the rest of the night, had I known Tasha like that, I would have been right in her bed. And them, them beds wasn't even twin. It was smaller than a twin, but I would have been right in that bed. But I ain't know her like that, and I ain't want her to look like, what the, what is she doing? She ain't sleep the whole, the whole day the, the next day. Like, she was so day. tired. Let, she let was dreading the nighttime came. Guy. Yo, so why you ain't sleep? Yo, I was, she was scared. scared. Was she in was that scared. damn house. Was something, let me tell you something. It was something having a little bit of fun. Held with her. me what down. Listen, peoples, something held me down. I felt 
some the pressure of something on my chest. It held me down. Yo, you should have been on your knees praying. Listen, I was side, praying. Yeah. And you know how, guys, y'all know how y'all think a cover or like the sheets could save you? Yo, I was underneath them sheets. And I had one eye peeking out like, yo, like this <laughs> sheet was able to save me. Yo, I'm swear. Something was in that house. Let me tell you something. I don't play them she games. She was rocking back and forth Listen, the whole night on the, the balcony the next, the next day, day. She I was, was rocking back and forth. Hell, was baby. Leaning. But you, you, I did not, and we, that was the first night we went. This happened. We were there for like two or three nights. I kid you not, I did not sleep in that room. And this is how I know these people was rocking with me hard. Because one of the girls, she had, um. In the loft area. A, in the loft area, she had like a bed that was. King a California King, King. Yeah, California King size. It was four of us in that house. We was all in that bed. And all four of us slept in that bed. Because baby, when I say. <laughs> I was not fitting to sleep in that room. No, because don't be coming out. Listen, yes. I was scared. Let me tell you something. When it held me down, I was with, like I was kicking and all that. But I think it's in your, like, I don't know if it's in your head when you be kicking and like when you think you nah, will and then do that's everything. A, that's a spirit. Because I'm telling you, like, I felt like I was doing the most trying to fight, but it was like my body wasn't moving. I couldn't scream. Mm. I couldn't do nothing. I just was frantic, just laying there, like, trying to move. No, that was the worst experience of my life. I, I, uh, I was like, uh-uh. It happened twice in that night. And let me tell you something. I ain't go back to sleep that night. The next day, I was sitting on a rocking chair on the porch. And they was looking at my cover. And they was looking at me like, and I was just rocking back and forth on that chair. Like, Lord, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I cannot sleep in this house another night. I was so scared. But yo, if that ever happened again, don't don't be scared. You know what I'm saying? Just just, just pray the most high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I prayed. I think when it held me down the last time, I think I prayed and was like, God... You know, like I was saying, I rebuke whatever this is. God, please, just please. And I don't know. I believe in, I'm, I believe in prayer because I was raised in a church. But I don't, I don't know. I just, you know, people be praying yeah. like, Lord. Yeah. And I come and I take uh, Joe, the, I sanctify the you blood have to do all that. Jesus. You know, like how they be doing all that. I don't, I, I talk to God like. He my friend, like yo, God. Let me tell you what and happened that's today. How it's supposed to be. Yeah, and that's yeah, my yeah. uncle. You gotta get serious with it. Yeah. yeah, he was like, when you talk to God, just be yourself. Like, yeah, just yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, because I said, I don't know how to pray. I'm at church and they doing everything. Oh, we rebuke you in the name and we sanctify and do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to do all that. Yeah, I don't even yeah, feel yeah. comfortable. It's just a conversation you, you, with you God. You talk to him just like you talking to us right now. Yep, and that's what I do. But that that that, that night, I was like, God. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. I just know I was asking him, like, yo, whatever this is, please get rid of it. And the next morning, yeah. yo, that was the longest night of my life, yo. It was like morning ain't want to come because I was under that sheet and I was sweating bricks. <laughs> I was so damn hot. <laughs> when I say I was hot, yeah. I was so hot, but I would not, would that little that eye... Off. Whatever air was coming in through the <laughs> eye that I was peeping, that's all I was getting. Yo, I woke up that morning, yo, I was drenched. Oh, yo, I was so, uh, yo, yo, I don't know. My friend talking about doing a cabin trip in the summer, and I'm kind of like thinking like, yo, I don't know, man. Mm. Mm. Just don't get that cabin. Yeah. Just do, do reviews on it first before you go to the cabin. Yeah, because I don't know. Make sure there ain't no duppies up in there. Something wasn't right. Yo, it's crazy. But on a go ahead. We had fun though. Yeah, we had fun. We went uh what we did we did um the the zip line in zip line the white in. water raft. Oh, we almost lost our life on the white water raft. Yes. And you know what? I told them that I did not want to get on that boat. Because me and water, we do not mix, right? They let me get on anyway mm-hmm. and we were clinging to a rock. The raft mm-hmm. is about to flip over and all I remember seeing everybody eyeballs looking at me because she was their in the conscience boat. was killing them. <laughs> because they knew that I did not want to get on that boat in the first place, and this is how we were all going to die, right? Have you ever been white water rafting? Nah, never. Let me say, um, that's what I'm saying. We need to do fun activities. We went white water rafting. We went zip lining. We went wine tasting, and we went hiking. And I fell and bust my knee. She sure did. Hey, Jason. Uh. I was telling everybody. I was like, yo, everybody, be careful. Be careful because there's a lot of rocks out here. Five minutes later, my damn ankle <laughs> twist. And it was a wrap. And this she went water? down. And this is hiking. This is hiking. This is hiking. Okay, yeah. Right, right. It, it just, yeah. 
But it was fun. fun. We did. We had so, fun. So, I mean, what, what, what we going to do? We, um, I know we're going to go bust some gun next next week, right? Yeah, we're going to the gun range. We're yeah. supposed to go um, skydiving. Nah, I don't know what negative. you're talking about. Nah, what's going on? Because y'all going to do it. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. They got I fly. Nah, I'm not doing I fly. That's, that, that's not. That's a starter. Nah. That's, I'll watch you jump out of a plane. No, we're going to do it together as a family. Okay. So how would you feel when I get to the bottom and there's no life? Listen, you'll be straight. We gonna pray mm-hmm. before. The devil is a lying. Ain't got no plan. Well, we have to do exciting I don't activities, play with guys. We have to do. You did the zip line I have and a phobia you did perfectly of heights. fine. I told you that. Heights you, and water, guys. You got over that height. I have phobia a phobia when we did the zip lining and you was yeah, screaming, was wailing like... hands up. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. That was a spiritual moment, guys. I felt like me and God was one on that zip line in. It was that was another level. But yeah, that was. What you want to say, Jay? I'm just saying I, I really have a hard enough time out there with with the police, man. I'm not trying to add nothing else to endanger you my life. You know what? Listen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you I'm not jumping on a plane to for no thrills, man. Man, y'all gonna do it? It's it's going to be something that I'm gonna have to work on with you guys and you know warm you guys up. But we're going hey guys, zip lining. Hey, hey, y'all hear this out there? Not zip lining, skydiving. Y'all hear this out there? Yeah, you had a right zip lining. No, skydiving. Zip, zip lining in Florida, whack. Next year, Tosh will be talking about the same thing. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all go ahead and see if, if Jason Vanderpool jumping out of out of a plane. All right, watch. And y'all when y'all see the video on YouTube, y'all gonna know who run it. <laughs> okay? Because we going zip lining. No. no doubt, I'll do that. No zip lining. Yeah, Why yeah, is yeah, it? No exactly. doubt. That's, I'll do that. Yeah. No exactly. doubt. No, no, ain't no zip, zip lining. Fact, at Gatorland. No, okay, we can go <laughs> zip lining, but that's going to be the warm up to the skydiving. That's going to be the warm up to I fly. Nah, I ain't doing no I fly. That's why. We going Yo, actually. You know what we could do? We could do um, Top Golf. They got Top Golf out here now. What's that? What top Golf? Oh, y'all, y'all are late, man. That's the thing that everybody go to is inside golf place. It, it's like a, a driving range. Um, it has different floors. At least I've been to the one in, in Atlanta. I've never been to the one. The one here just opened up. Mm-hmm. So they have Top Golf and they have Andretti Racing next to it. Mm-hmm. I think I heard about and it. And I went to Andretti Racing in Atlanta as well. That joint is, is popping, you know. I mean, Andretti Racing is like with the, the, the little cars, right? Yeah, but they big. They like you have to have a license to drive. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. So y'all single. And you pop out this um Saturday nights, Friday nights, um Sunday nights, so like on the weekend. You selling us? Huh? Right. You putting <laughs> us up for sale? Right. I mean, yo, y'all, y'all talking about y'all, y'all single and all that. Yo, it, it, be, it be popping out there. What? So why are you out there? Right. I haven't been. I'm a married man. <laughs> 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 I, I go nowhere without my wife. <laughs> uh-huh. I can't with you, Jay. Somebody be popping out there. How you right, be popping exactly. out there? Right, exactly. You know, the way you said it, you right. Who told you right? Who told you was popping I passed. I passed over there one night. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Who you was out there with? Yo, guess who's in the in the in the call with me? Whatever. Yeah. Tisa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real <laughs> smart. Real <laughs> smart. <laughs> Let me tell you, guys. I went. Um, my friend niece thirtieth or no shit. I just forget about who it is because it's you know you got to go down the line down the line. I went to a friend's thirtieth birthday party. Oh my god. And they had this stripper there. <laughs> yo, Slackness, yo, when I say, yo, that was the funniest experience of my life. I wish I could show y'all these videos, but when I tell you this dude was like six five, and when he came tumbling in the room <laughs> in a flip, son. Now, mind you, dude don't got bare ass, bare ass. It ain't nothing covering his ass. So you imagine a six foot five dude. Tumbling in the room, son. Yo, with the outfit he had and on. And the, the, the ass was shiny. Oh, my like God. Like, he's oil like, though. Y'all like that, though, right? Yo, I don't even know. Not that I, outfit like, he like, had that, on that. Not that outfit. Turn, yeah, that, that outfit. But I guess that's what strippers, isn't yeah, that stuff like strippers that? wear? Guys, that, out, that, that video she showed me with the outfit that he had on. First of all, the man, t- 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 what was those tights he had on? No, it was like little cowboy. leg, little thigh high, knee high. Socks. I don't even know what the hell it was. Hey, yo, shout him out. What was his Instagram? Yo, oh my let's, god. Yo, let me let me go ahead and get his Instagram, yo, because I swear, yo, this dude. 
whoever, whatever his name is. I, he did a good job. I feel like it was more like entertaining. Like you laughed your ass off during that performance. I mean, I was dying. And it was a, he brought his own music and everything. <laughs> And he had did he, like he a came, he came with a boombox. He came with a boombox <laughs> and everything, son. The only thing is, I felt like he was a little ghetto. He had whipped cream. Um, you say he had some soap and water. Soap and like <laughs> soap, a sponge. Um, he had uh, a lighter and whatever, but it was in a plastic bag, like what? a little, like a regular, like Walmart bag. Like a grocery bag. Yeah, like a grocery bag, and I'm looking yeah. like. Is this dude um really taking this stuff out of this grocery bag right now? Um, but he did his thing though. He did his thing. It was it was fun. I'm gonna need you to get a regular gym bag though. Yeah, he need like something else. And I'm gonna need you to change those pants that you had on. That outfit and a fitted does not go along with that outfit that you had on either. Not trying to hate, but that outfit. It's a stripper outfit. That's the yeah, no, stuff they no. wear. You need to get another outfit because that outfit was just horrible. And then he had a did he have a fitted on? He had a fitted on. I think he had a fitted on. He had something around his face. He had a fitted on, but I think he eventually took was the that fitted a on. Rag? I don't know, but whatever <laughs> it was, his little outfit was kind of popping. Don't do him like that. Uh-uh. It was a stripper. I was looking mm-hmm. at it as it was a stripper outfit. Like, it was a stripper outfit. That's what strippers, you know, he had on, like, the cowboy boots. Mm-mm. And, um... Those were motorcycle riding boots. And... What else? I, mean, it was he, a no I don't even know, but... Way. I finally found his handle, guys. I'm here, here, here trying to find his info, but... Florida Hard Body Chris. Yo, y'all really gonna put He's that a personal a trainer, a model, entertainer, and his entertainment is for ladies only. You no, know, his IG say Dime Catcher. That's Dime with a Y. Catcher. D-Y-M-E-C-A-T-C-H-E-R underscore 407 dime on catcher. Instagram. Which Dime he catcher? So, so yo, he, he a Dime Catcher? Which Dime he catcher? I mean, I think what threw it off was what he was doing. I mean, on his IG, he is mad fine. I was, I used to look at his IG all the time like, ooh, this dude, this brother kind of, you know, he, he work out a lot, I guess, because when he was tumbling and flipping all these girls around the room, <laughs> he had to be working out. He had to keep a good body and strong because I'm telling you, he was tumbling all shapes and sizes mm-hmm. that night. I can't. So, but I, you know, once he did the show, when I seen him in action, it was just more like an entertainment. I was, I was cracking up, like. The next day, I was watching my I watched my snap like a hundred times, and I even called my homegirl Trail like yo, just laughing. She's like, "What happened? What happened?" I said, "Girl, I was watching these damn snaps." <laughs> so that's but he made good money though, right? Oh yeah. You, so Jason, that's a good side job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Since you know, can't sleep at night, yeah, how much there you, you go. How much you made? I don't know how much he made because we ain't count up the money, but he sure that that little made some um, money. plastic bag he brought with his honey and all that. It was filled with with money, so you could do that at night, being that you can't Since sleep. You can't sleep. So you could make that night hustle. I, I, could, I could do two two sit up, two push up. You know what I'm saying? And um and 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 go do my thing out there. Listen, I'm gonna need you, you have to do more than that because when I say all shapes and sizes, he was flinging them all shapes and sizes. No <laughs> so you problem. Pick up, you know, all Picking kind of up, people fling them flinging, around. All that he done had the girl with the belt around her neck, and she was crawling like a little dog. <laughs> And then he, when he got her in front of her, he grabbed her neck and her head went back and she was looking like, ooh. <laughs> oh, you can do it your way, Jason. You can so do she, like. This, this is what y'all like right here. <laughs> Listen, you can do it your way. You don't have to do that. The entertainment. You could just be like, just and, there. And, and we just talked about sexual harassment too. Right. You know like, <laughs> but y'all want to be sexually harassed, yo. You know what I'm saying? No, no actually, on, let's see. This is what you could do. This, Oh, y'all picking and choosing. Listen, just like, like me, just like say more, no more. Seven fifty seven on Instagram said, "If you ain't cute, don't touch me." Listen. It's different. Go ahead, Tom. You could you could do like you don't really have to dance and do all them stuff. You could just go and oil up your body and just sit down with and them and read them up. a story. <laughs> <laughs> just talk some politics and stuff to them. You know, make mad money off of that. You don't think so? Yo, everybody got a little hustle out there. You can make your own new yeah. thing. That sounds like something that could be done. Just like I said, let me let me do two sit up, two push up. You could call yourself Chase and right. Jason. Right. You <laughs> 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 Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. Yeah. Oh, Where did I find these 
these people. <laughs> How sure you a damn yeah. fool? <laughs> he be like he he come and talk politics to you. That's it. Just right. up your body and sit down and you know entertain. Well up your body. They could just get you whenever. Hey, they could just get you like whenever you know you need to show off for your home girl. You got a man and he fly. Mm-hmm. Just call up Chase and Jason. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I need you to come through real quick, like just come all up and bite them. Oh my God, that's yours, yeah, girl. Yeah, you know, that's all me right there, girl. That's me. <laughs> Meanwhile, T's outside waiting for the money. Yeah, Get the money bag. Get the money in the bag. Yeah, yeah, wow. Nah, for real though. So Jason, how you he's smiling through? though, cause you right. see he's thinking about it. He's smiling. He's thinking like, yo, I'm trying to tell you, he had a bag when he left the out of there. I know he's counting it like, yo. Get a bag of money. Yeah, we do. Yeah. See, he was, was throwing all that money out there, man. I'm telling you, he had came out with the sponge and and wet up himself with the sponge and the soap, girl. They was slapping his. He had a bald head. They was slapping money on the back of his head, like. Mm-mm. Yo, that he he went up, come, came up out of there. That same plastic bag. He came in with his honey and stuff. It's the same bag. He Yo, so my man, here. he ain't have he ain't have a duffel or nothing like that. Nah, he had a plastic. Why tell you gonna you. save your money, yo? He, he had a money. yellow. I'm thinking to myself because I don't, I don't never see yellow plastic bags here, but back home in Jersey, yeah, you Bravo? know they have Shoprite. You know Shoprite. Y'all yeah. remember Shoprite? Shoprite plastic bag was yellow. Wasn't Bravo too though? Bravo's plastic I bag Bravo was, was yellow. I don't know because nah, I'm shopping Bravo. Bravo white. They white? Yeah, I was like, yeah. Where, you know what? And I'm looking at the yellow plastic bag, like, yo, where he get the yellow plastic bag from? Because that looked like a Shoprite bag. Because back home, we, you know, the plastic bag was yellow. He gotta remind himself where he coming from. Man, let me tell you, that joint was the funniest experience. This man was like six five, and I'm telling you, when he rolled in with that bare butt, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I just lost it. I lost it. I like, I just lost it. Y'all don't understand. But shout out to Dime Catcher underscore four hundred seven yeah. for doing your thing. You yes, know, you gotta do yes, what you gotta yes. do. I to, enjoyed your show. To earn your funds. I enjoyed your show. I would definitely, I would book him. I would have something at my house and book him. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking? Just I'm still thinking about him. it. I would book him because it was fun. The only thing is, I hope he would have different routines because you could tell he had his routine down. He had the uh, uh, um a track and the, you know uh, just played a little clip with each song and he did like a did something to each clip so i would the only thing is that i would verify if he would do like a different routine but i think i would book him because it was fun he was down to earth he wasn't you know what i'm saying like after the show was done you know he talked you know what i'm saying like yeah so you know what y'all doing or you know just you know regular conversations so he was real down to earth you know, after cool. joy, he trying to pick something up listen trying to make some extra change trying to get the extra extra breath <laughs> 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 The yeah. after the show bread, right? Yeah, <laughs> Yo, it was fun though. I ain't gonna front. Thanks for the invite, man. Cause I do. I had me so much fun. People was watching my snaps and they was hit me up like, "Yo, Tosh, I be living through you, girl. I be living through you." I'm, I'm like, I'm out here trying to live in these city streets. Mm-mm. Tosh, you ready for Mexico? If I can get me into a bathing suit, like I don't know what happened. I just been getting fatter and fatter. So I'm kind of like. I can't find a bathing suit. Jason. Uh, you see these? She fat to you? Yo. This is my thing. Y- y'all watching the 17 magazines and all these magazines with these stick figure women. Not not every, every, not all black women are going to be built like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not all black women built like that. Like, I think that my queens need to embrace their bodies, man. You are beautiful. You are beautiful no matter, you know what I'm saying? Take slim, medium, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Like, just embrace you. You're a beautiful woman. Yeah, thank just know you. that. Thank you, darling. You are very beautiful, Tasha. Thank you, darling. And Cause you're going to be out there thank pulling. You. In Mexico, you're going to be out there pulling them. We're going to be out there pulling them together, You know honey. the Mexicans don't care. Right. Well, it ain't gonna be just Mexicans <laughs> out there. We gonna be on that boat. Oh, it ain't okay. gonna be. We gonna be on that boat. It ain't gonna be just Mexicans. I on hope that we thing. come back. They don't take us away. We'll be perfectly fine. Have us working out and like. And, 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 and yo, t- even even I. So I know you. You talk about you. Would, um, you go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Wait, me or, or the other Tasha? Tasha, Tasha done. Yeah. Tasha. Okay. Well, I got a trainer right now. All right. So so watch this. Don't get discouraged. Um, a lot of times, usually when women go to the gym, they're going there. For the objective of losing weight, 
Right. So when women begin to, when they start working out, they are expecting to lose the weight. A lot of times they end up gaining weight first. Mm-hmm. Because what's happening is that you gain muscle mass. And the muscle mass is more dense than the fat that you're trying to lose. So being that it's more dense than the fat that you're trying to lose, you're going to end up, lo- you're going to end up gaining weight first before you lose it. So don't see that and get discovered. Just keep doing what you're doing. Right. So you're trying to make me feel better? And, and guys, mind you, by the way, this lady right here is not big at all. Like, at what all. Are talking about? You know I'm big. I'm check big the guy. handles on Instagram. You check yeah. your handles. You Listen. see she's beautiful. You know and you she's far from big. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys. Exactly. Thank you. you you being too thank harsh you. on yourself. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, but... You being way too hard on yourself. <sighs> you know, but there's going to be a lot of... You're going to see... But I understand because, you know, I be, I'm still trying to gain me some little 10 pounds. You know what? I'm dead serious about right, it. And you're beautiful the way you are, too. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Thank you. You got some good men out there. There's good men out there still. It is. It is. Jason, I'm telling you... People are hitting me up left and right. They just love Jason's point of view. You know, they they, they love to hear him speak. Um, yeah, we don't so, get no love. Yeah, no love. Everybody, no love for us. Everybody no love. love off Jason. I mean, I'm getting yeah. messages left and right. Like, no, Jason. Why, 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 why y'all hating, man? That's all I No, I'm saying. I'm like, yo, Jason, not the only one on the podcast. We have Tasha and Tasha on here. Like, we, we here too, y'all. You know, Jason getting all the love. He is. But that's that's why I wanted a male's perspective. And then a guy that's like, I guess you would call it conscious, cautious, conscious. Well, you chose a good guy. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did a good job. So, yeah, yeah you think I'm a, like a whole tap? A what? A whole tap. What's that? No, we, we can talk about that at a different time. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm curious. What is yeah, that? What is that? I've never heard that. A whole tip. We will talk about that at, at a later date. Why we can't talk about it right now? What's that? Because we're about to end. Hey. We're about to wrap this up. Dang. Part two, guys. Yeah, yeah we had a long two. night. We had a long night. Um, But. Yo, where, where my melatonin at, man? Look, he is tired, guys. <laughs> he is tired. I think you, you, you JD, left it. Tink, tink. You Remember, you said your short term memory going because. You're not getting enough sleep. It's out in the uh, where your okay, right. laptop bag is. Right. But we are going to wrap it up, guys. Um, we love you guys, and we're gonna do our shots outs. I know I've shot out my sister before, but someone did reach out to me and was like, I didn't give the website, and they asked for me to do a re shot out. So I'm gonna re shot out my sister, um, Jessica. Her Instagram is J Lorraine Designs. So if you go on Instagram under J L O R R A I N E D E S I G N S, J Lorraine Designs. She is a fashion designer, handmade, um, you know, clothing. So if you're doing prom, um, bridal shower. Uh, anything, anything that you need. I'm always shouting out clothes. This is my second clothes shout out. But anything that you need, um, custom design, she got you. If you go on her Instagram, you're able to see all her. She she works with a um, up and coming st- um, celebrities and you know stuff like that. So again, J Lorraine Designs. Anybody else have a shout out? Um, I do. So I want to shout out my homie Paul. Um. His website is Nature's Essentials. He makes mm. all natural hair and body products mm. pretty much uh, free of any harsh chemicals. I mean, this dude makes the stuff from scratch. Hey, I'm yo, when it. I tell you, it's bomb. The too. illest oils I've ever yes. had used in my life. Yes, yes. If you have you. a bald spot in your head, <laughs> yo, rub his oils he ain't on your lying, head. yo. He ain't lying. Your, I had to use some on the side of my head, yo. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, but I'm telling you, like on my on my shoulders, I have like a little bit of eczema and. I use some of the oil. Actually, I use it. I mix it in like with some of my lotions too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. but um, he has one like it has to like eucalyptus and stuff like that. Right, and I put right. it on my shoulders. Let me tell you, like this, he has one like a shea butter. Mm-hmm. Yo, let me tell. My skin felt like 
silk. Why well, might I have to hit them I up? I had to re nah, he, up. He, he, that, no, and real. Sky have eczema. So. I had to re. Yeah, you would love it. Like you put in this so it smells so like. Yeah. Oh my god! Like you know, calming. He has a lavender one, and mint chocolate. My favorite is the lavender. Oh wow! But, yeah, the lavender um, is good. It's really good. But yeah, you guys got to try that. It's, he has the oil for you here. Actually, he made me um some conditioner. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely gonna try that because I'll be having that dry scalp girl. So mm-hmm. he some conditioner. And it's basically it's so freaking natural that you actually can pretty much eat it. You right, know what I'm right. Putting mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's natural. natural. Yeah. So it's all natural stuff. So mm-hmm. guys, definitely check that out. I'm gonna give you the um the website is www.natureessentialoils.net. All right. And again, his IG is Nature's Essential. So you know we're gonna put up the um information um you know on our on our site so that you can see that and you definitely wanna hit him up. For some of those products. Yeah. What you got, Jason? Yo, I want to shout out my man, Tim the Bushman. Mm. Right here in Orlando, Tim Florida. Tim the Bushman. <laughs> Yo, he owns a, a dope spot called Three Mass. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Three Mass is a, is a spot that I've, I've been going there for the for, for years. Um, if you want to learn anything about the motherland, go to Three Mass. If you're in Orlando, wow. Florida, the most... The most um the fam- the most famous couch in Orlando is at Three Mass. Well, what is that? What is what Three, they... Three Mass is a is he has an event space mm-hmm. um and also a store. If you want to buy African um cloth mm-hmm, go to Three Mass. If you, if you want as a matter of fact, um Paul's oils are so- Yes, they are, are there, there. Yeah. Okay, they okay, as well. Okay. Um, if you want to buy statues, jewelry, um, if you want to hear poetry, oh, oh, some of the right. illest poets in Orlando perform at Three Mass on a weekly basis. Oh, yeah. I um, want to wow. do that. If you want to learn African dance, go to Three Mass. Mm. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a dope spot. Um, his spot is located. Um, it is on 1023 West Colonial Drive in Orlando, Florida. Um, 1023 West Colonial Drive in Orlando, Florida. His IG is Three Masks Inc. Three Masks Inc. And that's Tim the Bushman. Okay. All right, guys. So that is our shout out, shots out for this week. As Tasha mentioned, um, we will have the handles up on the Instagram page. The Traveling Pants of a Single Mom at gmail.com. I ain't no single mother. Ah! <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm giving a Gmail, but you know, Traveling Pants of a Single Mom at Gmail and the Instagram is the Traveling Pants of a Single Mom. And we are now up and running on um, YouTube. YouTube. Um, not all the episodes are there yet, but hopefully by the time you guys hear this, all of them will be up there. The YouTube page is Tears and Tom, Tears and Tom, Piers and Paul. O as an Oscar, A as an Apple, S as in Sam, M as in Mary podcast. So T T P O A S M podcast on YouTube, and you can check out our videos or the podcast on YouTube as well. Um, thanks so much for listening. We love you guys. Peace. Bye. See you next time. Boom. Ah. <laughs> and it's a wrap.